morning, friends. So I woke up early this morning, got my van all in order. I thought, well, okay, I'm going to try to start it. It probably won't start, but then I'll go ahead and call the tow truck and get down to the shop by the time they open. They don't even open till 9, so put the key in, started it. I didn't like it, but it started. It ran just fine. I just drove it down here to this little parking lot. So, yeah, I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and just go for a short hike. It's only like 8, so I'm only uh, 5 miles from the mechanic. This would be a great time to see wildlife. All I've seen is squirrels and birds and spiders. <laughs> All kinds of little bitey things. thought Texas was bad. Eh, Texas ain't got nothing on Tennessee. Look, the rhododendron starting to bloom. All right, do you have two starts in you today? Gee, I hope so. Wow, Irwin is just an adorable little town, y'all. Take the next right onto North Elm Avenue. I'm trying to find the mechanic. My van is limping, I can feel it. It's limping. I just hope it didn't die on me. Don't die. OMG, all I can say is this is crazy. So, yeah. My van literally died as I turned the corner and I coasted into the shop. And they have a sign on their door that says they'll be open at 9.30. So, I guess I'm going to hang out here for a while. Dang it. Alright, so I got to the shop right at 9 o'clock and I noticed there was a sign on the door that said we'll open at 9.30. So, I put, I waited for a minute, I tried to call the shop, nobody answered because nobody was there. I tried to start the van to go down half a mile to the next shop, the van will not start. So I waited patiently and at 9.30 a truck pulled up and a gentleman got out and invited me in. Very nice gentleman, he gets out, I tell him my problem and he says, well, I don't have a mechanic here till Wednesday. I said, what? It's Monday morning. So it turns out his son actually owns the shop, and his son recently went through a quadruple bypass surgery, so obviously he's not coming in. And then their other mechanic, his wife was in a horrible car crash over the weekend, so he's at the hospital. He's not coming in. So the soonest they will have anybody here will be Wednesday. So I called all the other shops in town. He called some. I called some. The soonest anybody can even see me would be Thursday. It's ridiculous. So it's Monday now. Yep, small town life. So I've got AAA, right? So I start calling shops all around. And the problem is also that nobody's going to have any parts in any of these small towns. So I ended up calling a Chevy dealership in Asheville, North Carolina. They can get me in today at 1 o'clock. So I called AAA and I said, hey, come get me, take me in Asheville. So they said, okay, yeah, we'll be there at 1230. Perfect. Well, I just checked my update on my phone. It says they'll be here at 118. Yeah, my day's going great. So I called the shop back, told them I be, might be late. She said, no problem. Well, it's no problem because we're not going to be able to fix it today anyway. I just have that feeling. But that's okay. I'm not going to get stressed out. I mean, I'm going to be in Asheville, right? So I guess what I'm going to have to end up doing if they can't get the car, the van fixed today, I'm going to have to rent a car and load it up and go camping, I guess. That's going to be weird. I'm glad I brought my tent, though. Making a habit of this, buddy. So, hey, friends. Man, it's been a rough day. So, I ended up here at a campground for the night, and my van is at the shop, and I have a rental Jeep. Yep, that's right. So, I'm going to put up a little tent right there. So the sucky part about having to pack up real quick to go on a camp out when your van's broke down, 
is I don't know if I grabbed everything I'm going to need or not. Gee, I hope so. So, yep, this will be an interesting evening anyway. Yep, I've got my tent, my air mattress, a pillow, and blanket. Because that's really all I need, right? Alrighty then. Traded the van in for a tent. <laughs> got my old Kelty out. It should be fine. Actually, it'll probably be quite lovely. It's been a while since I've slept in a tent. So, man, it has seriously been one messed up day. So, like I said, this morning I got up, I limped my way into Irwin, went to the best uh, reviewed shop in town, and the mechanic was out sick. He actually had open heart surgery, so you can't be very mad at him for not showing up for work. His dad was there, but he is old school. He's 72 years old. He doesn't know anything about newer vehicles or computers on wheels, as I call them. So he had suggested right away that I call this Malone's Tow Company. And I told him, well, I have AAA. Let me just call them. But yeah, AAA, just, they just screwed me over all day long. So yep, I called AAA at like 9.30 in the morning. And they said they would have somebody there within two hours. And I was like, well, okay, 11.30, that'll do. So then I tried different shops to try to figure out where I could take it. And uh, the only person that said that they could get me in today was in Asheville. Well, I had a one o'clock appointment with them. Needless to say, the first tow company didn't show up. So then I get another call from AAA saying, oh, by the way, your tow company will be there in about 90 minutes. I'm like, what do you mean 90 minutes? I've already waited two and a half hours. Oh, well, yeah, it'll be 90 minutes. And I said, so what, the other tow company just canceled? She goes, yeah, exactly, they canceled. Well, what's gonna stop this new guy from canceling? So yeah, they had called a tow company from a, a, a town an hour and a half away. So if they got another call that was closer, well, they're gonna take that. So anyway, my uh, the guy that at Hughes Mechanic, he was so nice. So he called up Malone's and Malone said, yeah, if you can just have AAA call us, then, you know, to verify that they'll pay for it, we'll come get her. So that's what happened. So I was on hold with AAA for 20 minutes while they decided to do that for me. So anyway, yep, finally Malone's came and got me. I highly recommend them. What nice guys. That poor driver was so tired. He had been on the job since 2 a.m. and he picked me up at 2 p.m. So yeah, I was at that shop from 9, 9 o'clock in the morning until 2. So they got me up here to Asheville about 3.30. Yeah, it took a while to get over that mountain with that heavy van on the tow truck. So, of course, by then I'm way late for my appointment. They said they'd try to get it diagnosed today and let me know. They close at 7, 7.30. No word from them. So this just kind of sucks, guys. I grabbed as much stuff out of the van as I could think of to go camping for the night. And, of course, I forgot a bunch of stuff because I'm just so used to it being there. So, yeah, I'll be like, oh, well, let me grab that out of the van. And I don't have it. So, yep, I'm trying to make the best of it, though. Found a beautiful campground, again, with the $20 a night, so it beat the heck out of a motel room. And it's pretty quiet, and it's very pretty. So, yep, like I said, something different, sleeping in a tent for a change. <laughs> yeah, I slept in tents for decades and decades, and this van thing's relatively new to me. It sure is amazing how quickly you get used to something. All in all, all is well. I mean, it could have been so much worse. I could have been stuck up on that mountain where I was doing that trail magic. So, it'll be all right. It'll all be fine once the swelling goes down. Well, anyway, I hope wherever you guys are, you're having a great night. I hope you're having an awesome time, whatever you're doing. Y'all stay lost, my friends. It's tent time. Yep, this is kind of awesome, guys. See what's out there? Nothing but darkness. <laughs> Good night. Say, so, friends, it was a rough day, I tell you. So I decided to give up the van life, go with the Jeep life, and get a tent. Oh, there's people going by, probably wondering who I'm talking to. And uh, I'm pretty sure I got into some poison ivy, and I sure wish I had some anti-itch medicine with me, but mm, that's in the van.